most important is no hookah, no smoking. Yes. That can give you ulcer. See, if you have ulcer, then you might have to give this gift back to us. Ulcer can cause perforation and you, you might land into emergency. They will open up your tummy and repair the perforation, but I don't like that because that can be avoided. Yes. No smoking. And another thing is painkillers. Big tablets, uh, like uh, that, that comes under NSAID group, N-S-A-I-D, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, yes. like Tylenol, Parastamol, Brufen, Ibuprofen, the common painkillers, the yes. big ones. They are the deadliest drugs, commonly available, without any problem. But they are hurting your liver, kidneys, and after bypass, if you keep on taking the painkillers for six months regularly, they can hurt your bypass, you can have an ulcer inside. Okay. So to have ulcer, most commonly patients have either smoking or they have the painkillers they are taking. I don't know if I told you I have like gout, you know, and only take medication when it's, you know, when yeah. it like comes in effect. Uh -huh. And I take, it's a... Uh, Cataflam, it's diclofenic potassium. Yeah. It's a small tablet. Is that common there also? Yeah. Diclofenac is the NSAID group. There are other pain, bad, much better painkillers available which belong to opioid group. Okay. Opioid is like opium. Okay. So those painkillers which are it's derived from natural, opium, uh, they are natural, they are much better. Okay. And the obese patients are generally used to taking painkillers. Uh, especially the ladies who have weak bones, joint pains, back ache. Mm -hmm. We have ladies who are taking painkillers from last 20 years and their livers are like cirrhotic, as if you have taken alcohol for 20 years. One yeah, tablet is equal to two one. packs of alcohol. Yeah. So, uh, opioids are much better. You should tell your doctor to give you opioids. That's no problem. It's not that you cannot take any painkiller. But NSAID group, which is very commonly used, should be avoided actually. Okay. And then smoking is uh, like um, very, very important. If a patient cannot stop smoking, he should not get the gastric bypass done. It's so very clear. And well, if you have some pain, okay. discomfort, you should get endoscopy done. Because this is the only thing which can be dangerous, you know. Uh, leaks, other things, I could do it right away on the table your design of surgery, no nausea, vomiting, this is my responsibility. But to handle this like a new car, you know, don't crash it. But it's better not to smoke because yes. smoking has high incidence of ulcers and lung cancers and other things which you cannot even imagine. It's really bad. And it makes your blood vessels hard like plastic. So chances of having heart attack and stroke. Yes. So with this surgery, it will change your life. Only these two, three things which I have told you, you be a little bit careful about this.